right, well, I'm back in Era 2. Um, haven't played this tank in a while. This was actually right before the UK uh, tanks were released, but I assure you that my comments on the strength of the Russian line still stand. I think that they continue to be uh, really from the 72 on, which is the second tank you get in Era 2, all the way through the 72 BU um, to be, you know, the most powerful. If not powerful, they're just the most um, utilitarian tanks. You can just, they don't really have any weaknesses and you can use them in pretty much any situation. And then the higher you get, the more kind of stupid their armor gets. That's just honestly inappropriate uh, for the tier. Um, I will say since the UK line came out though, the premium you get, the 4211, that's that's kind of like the AV in that the armor's too good. <clears throat> I don't think the gun is quite as good as this one. And you don't get rockets, but um, probably belongs in like tier or era uh, two and a half rather than just two. So that that could be used to sort of challenge the supremacy of the T72 AV, but I still I still think in the end of the day the uh, the AV is gonna gonna win. So um, again, not having played this for a while, uh, I was just gonna go to the corner and start shooting people. Um, you know. This is a pretty good split. Sometimes you get more of the team going one way or the other, and then you run into everybody on the red team, and you're kind of screwed. Didn't really happen this time, so... One of the things that <clears throat> I always noticed about the Russian tanks, really, uh, probably after the the T... Uh, was it T-54 in Era 1? Once you get to the object, once it's T-5, it's, it's just way too easy to RBRT. That's even in World War II, though. You get to the object 140 and stuff. It's just like an absolute monster. So, you know, I think it's fun to start with um, rockets because, I don't know, it just is. You could see that this is before they broke the rocket indicators, too. They don't show up anymore, which makes rockets even more deadly. But, um, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna keep using the rockets now that we've engaged. I want to get shots out. Just, uh, you know... RB rock forward, RT, and it's just, it's just too easy. Um, that tracking him actually a surprise. This thing usually pens, uh, all things considered. But, you know, five, six hundred damage. It's, that's a lot. That's a lot for uh, this tier. I know you get the Mobats have a lot of damage too, but a lot of the newer tanks that have been released, they don't, they don't do that much damage. So this thing continues to be pinpoint accurate. High shell velocity, and you know, anyway. So, we're getting pushed. It's Mobat. I don't have any gun depression, so I can't get there. Uh, so, I'm gonna back up a bit. And, um, Mobats, you know, they have a pretty big gun. They can do a lot of damage, and if they ram you, even in a 72 AV, you're gonna get hurt. Um, funny enough, when they ram the, the new 4211, it doesn't. I don't know, I've, I haven't seen it do as much. I guess I don't know if that's a heavy tank or something. Um, but. So there goes a the rocket. It's fun watching that go by. Um, right now, what uh, what I did in the UK tanks was uh, I made it to uh, the Scorpion 90 light tank instead of doing the Chieftain um, in Era 2. And I will say that the Scorpion really struggles uh, trying to shoot through Russian armor, um, but not but seemingly nothing else. It's kind of wild. Uh, um, this tank, it's got those barrels, which I don't know, I, I don't know if they're supposed to be spaced armor, but it always seems to be, and then you have all the composite armor everywhere, it just makes it impossible, uh, impossible to pen with anything but premium with a lot of tanks, and it's also fast, you know, we have 60 in a heavy tank, and can shoot on the run. <laughs> um, I left... I see there's more stuff going on over here. I want to make sure that I am my cannon in the game as usual. Um, that was a really low roll. Uh, you can see here the survivability. I mean, I know I need to get away. I know I'm going to be showing my ass to people, although they didn't push, which I kind of thought they would. Uh, I'm going to try and hug the wall and get over as soon as possible as not to take any shots, and somehow I get away with it. I feel like that was pretty lucky. Um, but damage just keeps racking up in this thing. I mean, I got 5,300. You know, there I take a shot. That's a pretty big shot. 
Um, <clears throat> and it looks like everybody's kind of collapsing on this side. You can see here I hug the wall again, and that gets me out of the line of fire. It's important when you're, uh, when you're playing to try and think your way through things like that. Every little thing, every little right decision you make can have a really big impact, you know, on, on the enjoyment of the game, too. I mean, just can be more fun when you win, right? Can do more damage. Uh, that missile is great. <laughs> just flying right by me, kaboom. So, um, we're down. I think we can pull it back, though, so I'm gonna, you know, go out. I'm gonna spot around the corner. I'm, uh, I'm going to shoot that guy, because I still think armadillos are trash. Even slightly nerfed. Now, I'm gonna try and side scrape a bit. Uh, this Mobat, oof. That's just bad luck, because he gets tracked. I'm just gonna, yeah. I see he didn't pen me. I, I was like, all right, I'll try and uh, get lucky and shoot before him, and he still managed to shoot before me, and it didn't matter because this thing's armor is just kind of stupid. So now we have a BMP. Not really all that impressive. Somebody comes behind me. Now things are getting a little spicy. You know, there's the 72M, and I bounce off of it. Uh, now I'm not shooting premium. But still, now we can we start to play this, you know, Russian bouncing game. Uh, aim down into it if you can. The armor in the front is way too powerful. So, regardless, now I'm one shot. We got two tanks left, and this guy, you know, quite easily could load pen and or load uh, premium and do something. He's one shot too. He's being really cautious, and I hear machine guns going on behind me. A bounce. I decide it's time for premium. This guy's hilarious, just shooting that little gun. I still can't believe the T-62 doesn't come around on me, but I think he's just worried. Uh, and he sees the other guy as well. So, you know, the light tank is uh, not my issue right now. I'm going to deal with him. Snipe him right. That tank dying there was perfect. Absolutely perfect for me. So, uh, this guy's going to come around the corner. And we're going to shoot him. And then this is my favorite part crash into the film. So with 14 hit points left. <laughs> so, you know, I think these tanks are just still too good. Uh, they really haven't balanced them at all. Uh, I guess we'll see what else they add, but can't crack 10,000. I'm up to like 18 and a half in era three, but I'm, I'm like 9,800. I've done that about two or three times. So in any event, still really fun tank to play and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Take care.